On top of that, if you all are happy with that, I see that Urvashi Tiwari Rupnarain has been removed from TV6. Why is that TV6? Huh? For the past six months, and she put it up and so on, highlighting that, 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 that. it's been an honor and so on. She's very sad. She's been removed. So TV6, fire Urvashi. Archie, go back to a video that Urvashi, you know, she was emotional, like all of us in the country, because a young man, St. Mary's College student, had been used as a shield by cowardly, sickening bandits. And he lost his life. Play the video. I am a little bit upset this morning. Um, I was reading about the death of this 19-year-old Terrell Webster Thomas. We're going to share a picture of him shortly. I came across it on the St. Mary's College uh, website. And I was interested in finding out how did this young man die. He was 19. Past students of St. Mary's enlisted in UCT studying, I believe, electrical engineering. Um, according to the story, he was on his way home. He met his mom at the taxi stand somewhere in the vicinity of St. James. Um, he met his mom there. She had just done grocery shopping and so on. Uh, they stopped a taxi. The taxi had one spot, like, you know, boys normally do, like my son would do. He would teach, he said, Mom, you know, you go ahead, you go up the road. I will, I will uh, wait and get another taxi and I'll meet you home. Um, she went home. He didn't return. Apparently, um, he got fed up of waiting for a taxi, walked across to a shop to buy a bottle of water. Gone then in pursuit of well, what we call in Trinidad and Tobago, another pest, started shooting. Now, Terrell apparently had on his headphones, was on his phone, minding his own business, as you know, these young men usually do. And um, this quote-unquote pest held him and used him as a shield. He was shot to death. So, as, as much as we would like to say, welcome and good morning there's one family in trinidad and tobago that is mourning this morning the death of this 19 year old on his way home now we have to understand in this country not everybody has a car and a security detail to take you home right some people have to travel poor people like us we have to wait on a taxi stand and travel who do we blame when something like this happened first of all it has your power you're you're just you know, they kill people, but then when the gunmen come after you using a 19-year-old as a shield. I, I am really annoyed at this. It, 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 it shows the level of crime in our country. We have to have like a, like a proper third world country. We have to wait for the BBC to come and tell us what to do with crime. Yes, still in that entire conference. And I have to tell you all as well, you know, we can't get the ministers to respond. When, you, when I reach out to them at least, um, I may not get a response. I didn't even see those blue ticks to, to, to indicate that they see my message. No response. But when the BBC comes, you're quick to go and talk to them. Nobody in that conference said that education and sport is an answer to crime. Now, data show that a youth who is involved in sport is less likely to end up in a life of crime. Yet, while doing an assignment, walk from Matlot to Togo, probably more than the um, councillors and MPs, Paula Sandy Randy, and you know what, what you would see? Those uh, community centres, those sporting fields, in a state of disarray. Who do we blame for that? Who do we blame for that? We have these ministers, they're coming into office. If I was a minister of national security, quite frankly, I would be ashamed to draw my salary knowing the demise of this 19-year-old. In a sense, he is one of the few who was pursuing academics, trying to make something out of himself. You Fair comment. Fair comment. Pained, emotional. Fair comment. Nothing she said there is untoward. As a government, as leaders, as politicians, people who offer yourself to serve, you have to accept responsibility. The number one responsibility of a government is the safety and security of the country. And when Uvashi talked that fair comment, 
Look at this bully, this nasty bully, this bald head, horny goat weed, sore foot bully. A journalist writes to condemn the minister and politicize a recent tragedy and so on. I just move him. I can't take it. Right? And this bully now uses his bully pulpit because of the cowards of TV6 and because of the mass media bias and PNM. Everything is PNM. They fire the girl. So that big bully, that mama pool, that horny goat weed, red coach lying down, so nasty clung, so nasty. He going to bully a mother who's admitting and telling you that she had to travel and her son had to travel. He take food out of lady mouth. That nastiness all you call Keith Rowley. When it come time, all you will vote. Don't vote. Vote. Because me ain't no supporter, no media person. But that is nasty. That is disgusting. Bullying and taking advantage of a woman, a journalist like that, using your bully pulpit. Hey, Rowley, okay, celebrate. Go and drink a scotch. You see what I do she? You see? She bad talk we. She spoke the truth. And the entire country knows that sleepy sativa body bag Heinz is a waste of time that all he could do is ride horse with a little boy and jam up on him whining on him on a horse and you Keith Rowley you're the worst prime minister in the history of Trinidad and Tobago go more meeting your PNM people supporters the country will continue to protest you boo you you better walk with more because that is what is happening across Trinidad and Tobago come August 14th Call the general election also because the people waiting for you 